so World of Warships again and as you can see here and if you play this game you know the Russian cruisers are now available in the um, NA server so this uh, is the tier 3 Bogotar Boga, Bogadur the, bo the Bog, I'm gonna call it the Bog so um, yeah this one uh, quite unique, I love the look of it and I love that this one has turrets so this is the um, completely um, stock model I have on. I only put on the uh, main battery upgrade. I don't really suggest or want to use the um, upgrade too much of the ship that way. And you can upgrade some of the other, uh, you have other upgrades. I believe there's a hull upgrade, which we'll look at when I get um, back into port after this battle. And this is on uh, co-op because I'm uh, God, I just hate trying to take a ship that I've never used into into combat with uh, PvP. But uh, and yeah, I did that earlier with the uh, Norvik, which I'll talk about in a different video. Uh, but yeah, this um this cruiser, I'm just loving the look of it and how it has turrets actually. But yeah, there's um I believe there is a hull upgrade and there's a gun upgrade, but it's seemingly a downgrade because the guns go down to 130 millimeter. I think you may still keep the 152 turrets, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm not even I'm not going to upgrade that. And you can also upgrade the targeting range, I believe in this one. However, personally, I'm just don't think I'm going to bother with any of them as I just want to get up to the um especially the tier 5 cruisers what I'm really looking forward to. I love how it looks, it's just incredible. And the uh, the tier 4 one that has torpedoes. As you can see here, it seems the Russian cruiser's gun speed is a bit slower than others, or the shot speed. And a uh, see all there people talking in there. But uh, yeah, and using the, the Norvik though, um, just use HE because it only has 120 millimeter and you're not gonna you're not gonna do anything with that. I mean you can penetrate the hull of say uh, what do you call it the tier ones, but anything past tier one and even in fact some of the tier ones you're gonna have a hard time pinning. And, and as you see there the shells are pretty slow for this thing. And the gun speed of the turn speed is a little slower. It's almost like the speed of um, some of the later tier cruisers for the um, IJN and US side. Um, oh, I hope I don't hit him. And I'm gonna get the I got the kill, alright. But yeah, and the uh, Norfolk I will say does have some pretty decent speed on it. This thing has a, at the moment 24 knots max. But it has these 152, 1892 something millimeter, 1892 version, but 152 millimeters. And um, earlier I was in a, the first time I tried this I was out in the battle and I came across a uh, South Carolina and oh my god the AP, not AP, but HE on it had like a friggin almost 4,000 damage hit into the um, thing. So this thing is pretty damn good. We got fire going on. I don't really have much to worry about from these things. I am using AP. And oh, by the way, the cruiser color is just uh, another typical dull gray. But uh, and I'm gonna crash. Yeah. So I was being stupid there. I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah, this may end a little too soon. I got that kill, and I'm on fire again. I didn't get that kill, and I am going to die, definitely. I'm gonna switch to AP and maybe get a few shells off, hopefully, but probably not. So yeah, I die. And um, 
Let's check this. Another one, I think. I think there's another bow guitar elsewhere. Or is there? Yep, there is. Which is fortunate, so we can just go to that one and watch it. And it's Quachi. We already know about that one. And here's the other one. He, of course, also has the camo on. So let's just see how this guy does. It's, of course, completely. I'm not playing this character, to be obvious. But, uh, at either way, it looks like he also still has a stock one. Or does he? Possibly, yes. Looking at some of the guns. Yep, that's definitely the, um, looks like the stock one. That's a 75mm gun, secondary battery. So let's see how he does with, um, his bog. Now, I haven't really tried HE in other cruisers, because I figure the, 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 I don't, can't talk, but the 152s, you know, I have, there's much better penetration chance. And that's why I also don't want to go down to the 130mm. I hear they go faster, of course, but I don't know if they're going to be able to pin. And the other thing was a Norvik, uh, Novik, whatever. I was having issues even hitting with AP, because I'd hit the side of the hole and they just do no damage whatsoever. And if I hit the side of the hole and most of the ships with AP, they wouldn't do any damage. You had to aim pretty much for the, um, for the top there of the ship. So I haven't really tried HE and cruisers on this, but it's, oh my god, this thing is devastates battleships, or at least the tier 3 ones. Maneuverability, this maneuverability here is not bad, it's decent for a cruiser like this. So far I'm thinking that Maybe overall, the uh, St. Louis might still be the most powerful type cruiser, but this thing is definitely um, a close second. And uh, that'd be my favorite tier 3 cruiser, actually. I just love to look in the turrets. So SMG here didn't do a lot of stuff, hardly any XP. But let's just go on to the um, thing here. And, uh,. There we go, get a closer look at it. So, yes, this is... Oh, those are cool. I didn't even notice I had... I didn't even look at those boats before. Yeah, a little mini smokestack. It's awesome. Alright, so yeah, this is the thing. You know, we have the 152 main battery there. Over here we have these other ones that are all hidden in there. Is this 150? Oh, it's the one below it. And here's the turrets. Love them. The turrets are awesome. And the secondary armament is the 75 millimeters. So, and the firing range here is 10 kilometers. Survivability. There's the armor and hit points. Surface detectability quite far. And maneuverability maximum speed 24 knots, turning circle 450. And rudder shift time, 8.4 seconds. And the captain here is red because I'm retraining him. I think I'm just going to keep the one captain for um, all these things. So, uh, let's go and take a look at modules. So here's this. We have, you can see all the information there. 152, 2100 um, maximum HE. 2700, it's not a lot of difference in that. You can upgrade the gunfire control, and when you do that, you can uh, get it out to 11 kilometers, and you can upgrade the hull too. You get, you then will be able to have, um, let's see there, so four main turrets, so actually I might do that. So that one actually might be a good thing to get. Since this though is 10, and this is just 11, when it's that much of a difference, I really don't care much for the upgrade. It's not all that good. I mean, just one kilometer. Uh, which, I mean, you'll close in within seconds. And here's the thing. These are the... You can't tell if you can see that. There we go. 130 millimeter. So you start out with these, and you go to these. And that's what I'm 
not really not looking forward to doing because you can see you lose damage in both of those and the turning degree seems to stay the same and uh, looks to, yeah you get an improved rate of fire I'd imagine do you? six rounds a minute? no uh... you actually lose rate of fire so I don't see why that would be at all a, an upgrade that seems like a complete downgrade but fortunately you don't seem to have to choose it because you can go through here then you go down and you get the Svetlana let's take a quick look at that and I love this look here this one just they look more like the um, cruisers that uh, came later in the other and the other ones not the other tech trees so I have the back of it here um, kinda like the Phoenix how it has these things back here in the Omaha so this one comes with the torpedoes except this one also has torpedoes over here and I just love the look of this thing it's beautiful so let's get this 1912 torpedoes this one has five kilometers so it's better than the destroyers and it's pretty good torpedo damage starting range 10 kilometer a speed 29 has the 130s right there and let's go down to this one and check that so that one um, there's an improved one it's still 130 but you uh, get better damage so definitely you would get that because it has the better AP HE stays the same though we sit there, main turret's 4 and again let's see main 15 main turrets okay so it stays the same it just gets you a 2500 hull XP and a 1 AA gun and better maneuver maneuverability so that's um this is what I'm going for too I'm hopefully going to be able to get up to this today so today's goal is to get this thing uh... now as we can go on we can look at this one the gyro which is, Kiro, which is what I want to get and this is all oh, look at that that is that's exactly why I want it it's, it looks it looks like the later tier cruiser it has like an uh, kind of opposite of the Konigsberg type thing where it has the one turret back here and two in the front I do like that uh, but still like the Konigsberg it has um, three turrets of three and it has nice little torpedoes there cool and I do like that its maximum range is pretty much the same as the Konigsberg almost upgraded starts out with 14 kilometers that's not bad the speed 35 knots that's pretty damn good and this one has 180 millimeters while the um, Konigsberg has 150 and it's good rate of fire I'm liking all the numbers there and check the torpedo if I didn't and uh, yeah four kilometer torpedo so you lose that but you gain a lot of a lot of um, damage so I'm liking that and they do go pretty fast so let's look at the a hole first and yep yeah, very decent and let's see what happens here you lose one AA gun you're gaining a lot of points and you you lose an AA mount and you gain AA I'm guessing it just updates your AA guns with later models then so let's just take a quick look at this artillery main battery 180 millimeter turrets oh those look beautiful I want them and 100 millimeter there that's pretty good, I like this, this is a really good looking cruiser AA defense so we have uh, basically 50 cals Russian 50 cal and uh, 45 millimeter so you got those going on and uh, these I guess are dual purpose and are se semi dual purpose so we have six of these things, six of those and four of the others so yep that is what I'm going for gonna want this thing I just love how this thing looks it's gonna look badass with camo on it and again it just looks like the later tier cruisers which I mean are 
what I would also say is the more modern type of uh, warship like this that you typically would think of in World War II. So that's awesome. You know, I, I'm just thinking of going for oh, and you get a plane on the stock hole. That's awesome. That's so cool. Alright, and uh, torpedoes again. I just want to see how many. Do you get one down here? Nope, they're right there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Alright, so, um, there you go, going back to the, uh, this guy, like the little thing there, design on the front, just like the way it aims down like that too, it's like freaking knife edge, it's so, so sharp compared to the other cruisers. Uh, anyway, that is the, um, the stock Bogotar, the Bogotar, the Bog, that thing. So, pretty nice little cruiser. My favorite tier 3 so far. And uh, more stuff coming in the future when I get to the other ships. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. So overall, I would say, definitely a great little cruiser. And that's going to be it for this one. Cheers. See you later.